Jesse here. I want to give a simple example of using JavaScript to handle some data and populate an HTML page. And this is something that we'll be exploring a bit more and it's, it's part of the way that modern web applications work. Um, I'm going to start with some data and I've generated this data using this generator, jasongenerator.com site. Uh, and what it is, um, it's in a format called JSON, which is a JSON a JavaScript uh, object notation. Uh, but we can look at this and based on what we know about Python, we can interpret this uh, data structure in JavaScript. Um, uh, so the, what we have here is there's actually quite a lot of similarities between the two. What we have here is a list. So people here is a list. Uh, square brackets uh, give us a list or an array in, in uh, uh, JavaScript. And then in each of the elements in the list, and we can see them here, uh, actually looks quite like a dictionary in Python. Uh, and in fact, it's, uh, uh, it's actually an object in um, JavaScript, uh, but it sort of behaves pretty much like a, uh, a dictionary in that we have uh, field names, so key names here, and values associated with them. So what I've got is a list of essentially dictionaries or objects and each of those has four fields one for an identifier then a picture uh, which is a URL the age of a person and the name of a person um, and so what I want to try and do is to write some JavaScript to essentially insert this into an HTML page so let's make a new HTML file and I'm going to um, uh, write some JavaScript to try and do this. So the first thing I've got to do is to include my uh, people data in my page. Okay, so there's my first script tag and that will just include that people data. That essentially only defines that variable people. Um, now I'm going to use another uh, JavaScript file, so um, I could put my JavaScript in the page here, but I want to um, use uh, sort of start using sort of good practice and make this uh, page. So I'm going to make another file script JS where I am going to put in the um, JavaScript code that is going to actually work on this data. Okay, so script.js, now what's this going to contain? It's basically going to contain one function uh, definition. Um, I'm going to call it add people and it's going to take the data uh, as an argument. And unlike Python, JavaScript uses braces in a C language style or Java language style, uh, so that will work like that. So this is going to take some data, which will be our list of people. Um, and we're going to, what we're trying to do is to add something into the page. So my index page here has nothing in it. What I'm going to do is add a div. Uh, and I'm going to give ID is people. OK, so now I have one div in the page, and it has an identifier people. And that's where I want my code, my JavaScript code, to insert uh, some new, the names of all the people. And what I want to get it to insert is something like an unordered list, and each each list item is the name of a person. Okay, so I'm going to try and get it to insert uh, things like that into the page. Um, I need to do that in my function. So the first thing I need to do is to find, so data here is going to be my list of people. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is find the place where I want to insert uh, the um, data in the page. And here I'm going to find a new uh, uh, variable called element. Uh, and it's going to be document.get element by ID people. Okay, so a couple of things here about writing JavaScript. First, we declare a variable using the var 
um, prefix, so this is a new variable. It doesn't have a type, but it does have this bar declaration. Um, and semicolons at the end of lines, so just so that you'll get nice and confused. We've been writing Python code that didn't need braces, uh, the indentation was important, and didn't need semicolons. Now we've got JavaScript code which has braces, requires semicolons, and vars before variables. Um, so we'll just have to get used to switching between different languages. So element now is going to this this thing here document is the document object. So that is the entire page, if you like. It's the representation of the page. And what I said is find the element or get the element that has the ID people. So that will be this element here, this div. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stuff inside it. Let's start off by adding something very simple. Um, I want to say element uh, in a HTML equals um, and I'm going to say in bold hello world okay uh, so what I've said is the inner HTML property of this element uh, please set it to this so that's basically going to essentially insert that bit of code into uh, the element that I uh, am looking at Here's a, that's our first bit of code we've got to actually now uh, we could try that out, but we've got to make sure that it, it runs. So I've loaded script.js there. Um, and what else, what I can do now is to, what I want to do is make sure that when the page finishes loading, that function, this add people function, is going to be executed. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in this function here, I'm going to say window on load equals function so this is going to be a function that is run when the page has finished loading and we're going to run people so this is I'm going to assume that there's a global variable called people uh, it's going to add people and it's going to pass the, the people data to that so that's going to when the page loads when the page is finished loading it's going to run this function. This basically installs that as an event handler in the page. Okay, so now I'm ready to try this out. I can try having a look at my um, page. And indeed, I have my hello world. So if you uh, do an inspect here, if we do an inspect to have a look at the page, you can see that there is the hello world in there. Um, just to sort of prove there's no magic, if we refresh that, Ooh. all these other things are plugins, by the way, of uh, in my browser. The preview of that page there is empty. So the response, yeah. So this is the response. The preview is didn't look anything because this is the response but once we've actually run the code we actually get the JavaScript code we get our hello world inserted so this JavaScript code has inserted hello world in there so there's our first little result but obviously not it's not what that's not what we want to insert we want to insert this list of people so uh, we're going to make up a new element uh, a new uh, variable called list and I'm gonna, uh, what I'm going to do is build up a string that is the bit of HTML that I want to add. So I'm going to say that the uh, list begins with that, and I'm basically now going to uh, add things onto the list as I go. So there I'm going to say, okay, so here I'm saying that at the beginning, list is an open, uh, unordered list. And then at the end here, I'm going to say uh, adding on to, so appending on to this uh, list variable uh, string. There's the closing of the unordered list. And then in the middle here, what I want to do is add on each person okay, in my data. So now I want to for loop over the data. So remember this people thing, it's a list. So we'll do a for loop over that. In JavaScript, 
a for loop is like a, a C or, or Java style for loop uh, I equals zero uh, I is less than data length I plus plus okay so I've got to spell length properly okay so this is going to be a loop over the elements of uh, the data and so I want to say list plus equals uh, and then I want a list item plus data i uh, and so now what do I want to actually insert I want to insert the name and the way that I actually reference that in here is data i dot name um, and then close that Okay, so what I'm doing every time around my loop, I'm adding a list item into my data, into my uh, resulting string, and then when I've finished, I close it, and then I say, make the inner HTML of that be that list. So we can try that, and see if it works. Refresh the page, that will run the code, and yep, we see here the list of people, and if we have a look at the code there then you see the list of individuals there so that's a very simple example of writing some code to um, add some information into an HTML page uh, using JavaScript and we've taken some data that has been described in JavaScript J uh, in this JSON language is basically a JavaScript list of objects uh, and we've used that data to modify the page mm -hmm. in this way. Okay, so that's my first example. Thank you. Mm -hmm.